Hey guys, it's Sorelg RMD, and today I'm going to be talking about breast cancer and more specifically about DCIS. So, the first question is, what is DCIS? Before I answer that question, I have to talk about the breast anatomy. So, here I have an image of the breast anatomy, and there are basically two components to the breast. There are the breast ducts, and there are the breast lobules. So, basically, the main function of the breast is to produce milk. That production occurs in the lobule. It's kind of like a glandular tissue. As it makes the milk, it pumps the milk into ducts. These ducts basically coalesce and get larger and larger as we get more central in the breast to the region of the nipple. So basically, all the ducts coalesce and come out to the nipple, and of course, that's where the milk is expressed. So basically, just like there's two types of tissue in the breast, the lobule and the duct, there are two types of cancer in the breast, lobular cancer and ductal cancer. For whatever reason, ductal cancer is the predominant form of cancer. About 85% of all cancers are ductal in origin. So when we're saying DCIS, we're talking about ductal carcinoma in situ. In order to understand ductal carcinoma in situ a little better, let's show a cross section of a duct. Duct is basically a tubular structure. You can see that represented here. We basically have a ring of cells surrounding that. You can see that normal and invasive ductal cancer basically exists on a continuum. And basically, abnormal cells proliferate inside the duct and basically end up filling the duct. When we have abnormal cells that are proliferating inside the duct and fill the duct, that's what we call DCIS. When those abnormal cancer cells end up breaking through this basement membrane and invading the surrounding tissues, that's what we call invasive ductal cancer. So DCIS is basically a precancerous form of cancer. It's the form of cancer that just precedes invasive ductal. So next, what does DCIS look like? There are basically two forms that DCIS takes within the breast. It can either be a mass or it can be a focal cluster of abnormal calcifications. So the image I have in front of me is a mammogram. This is a special type of x-ray that's taken through the breast and it's interpreted by breast radiologists. These are doctors that have six years of training after medical school and basically specialize in diagnosis and treatment of the disease of the breast, and more specifically, really, breast cancer. So here I have kind of a side view of the breast, and here I have a top-down view of the breast. There is this finding here in the right breast, which is this focal region of density, which is also seen on this side view of the breast, right here. This was basically picked up by a radiologist as being suspicious and was then biopsied in a stereotactic biopsy machine and actually ended up resulting in DCIS. Here I have another case of DCIS. You can see here this is again the side view of the breast. These images are viewed at extremely high zoom and with a high resolution in order to pick up faint calcifications. As you can see, I'm quite zoomed in now, and this is pretty much the level of zoom that a radiologist has when they're looking at these images. Here you can see these cluster of calcifications here, which look otherwise innocuous, but actually these are exactly the kind of calcifications we're looking for to diagnose DCIS. This was again biopsied using a stereotactic machine, and this resulted in DCIS. I also just want to show this image here, which is of the left breast. This shows what a cancer looks like when we don't pick it up at the form of DCIS. This is a large invasive ductal cancer basically in the posterior breast. And this is basically cancer that has progressed from DCIS. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you can understand a little bit more about DCIS and breast cancer. My name is Srog RMD. Please feel free to contact me and let me know what you think of this video. And please subscribe for additional content. Thank you for watching.